Hi there, and welcome to yet another edition of BDMP, Breaking Down Nigerian Pigeon. My name is Bafo, but some people refer to me as Bafo. It's all good. In our debut class, which was our first class, we looked at the marker B in Nigerian Pidgin English as one of the substitute of the verb to be in English language. In today's lesson, we're going to look at the marker D. For those who are yet to watch that video, you can check it out for you not to miss out on anything because I might be referring a lot to past classes to connect them with the classes that we're having presently, okay? Before I blaze the trail, I'd like you to know this important fact about Nigerian Pidgin English. Nigerian Pidgin English makes a decision on the form, the verb, adjective, noun, or adverb should take in a sentence and it sticks with it. That is the simplification and the beauty of the language. It creates its own reality. Isn't that terrific? On the one hand, the vital information to take note of the marker day is that, unlike the marker B, which precedes a noun or noun phrase in its sentence, for example, chike bibam ga. This example shows the marker B preceding the noun bam guy in the sentence. On the other hand, the marker D precedes either a verb, adjective, adverb, or noun phrase in its sentences. Its use is more amplified than the marker B when used as the verb to be in English language. Check out the following examples. You they vex too much. The marker they here preceding the verb vex. I they happy today. The marker they preceding the adjective happy. She, she they friendly, Sha. The marker they preceding the adjective friendly. They quickly they go while they wait for you. The marker they preceding the adverb quickly. Una de house. The marker they preceding the noun house. There are some examples of how the marker they precedes a verb, adjective, adverb, and noun. We will see further examples as we go on. Now, let's get down to today's topic. The use of the marker day in affirmative, negative, and question form in Nigerian Pidgin English in accordance with the use of the verb to be in English language. Our highlight for today is the use of the marker day. First, let's look at the conjugation of the affirmative form of the marker de in both languages. I am, I de, you are, you de, he is, he de, she is, she de, it is, Day. We are, we day. You are, una day. They are, then day. Note In English, the verb to be is conjugated in all the subjects, but the Nigerian Pidgin English just has only one conjugation the marker. D for all its subjects. Now let's take a look at the word order in the affirmative form in Nigerian Pidgin English, then form sentences with examples. We have the subject plus the marker day plus the verb. 
Remember, in place of the verb in the word order, you can also have either an adjective, an adverb, or a noun, depending on the sentence. You can refer to this word order to help you construct affirmative sentences with the marker de in Nigerian Pidgin English on your own anytime. Now let us see some examples in both languages in the affirmative form. I am on my way. Adi calm. You are bleaching. You de bleach. He is asleep. He de sleep. She is serious. She de serious. We are watching a movie. We de watch theme. You are gossiping. Una de gossip. They are friendly, then they friendly. Remember in the beginning of this lesson, I pointed out that in Nigerian Pidgin English, the marker de can precede either a verb, adjective, adverb, or a noun. The last example, then they friendly, shows the marker de preceding an adjective, friendly. Please take note. Remember that I also said that the marker de can precede a noun. This is how. When referring to a location or place, the marker de can be used to precede a noun. Look at these examples. She de house. She's at home. Here we can see the marker de preceding the noun house. Then de Lagos. They are in Lagos. The marker de preceding the city Lagos, which is a noun. Una de beach. Are you guys on the beach? The marker de preceding the noun beach. This last example, una de beach, now takes us to the use of the negative in English and Nigerian Pidgin English. First, let's look at the conjugation in the negative form in both languages. I am not, I know de. You're not, you know de. He's not, he know de. She's not, she know de. It is not, he know de. We are not, we know de. You're not. Una no de. They are not. They no de. Unlike in English, the subject of the negative sentences in Nigerian Pidgin English precede a negation no plus the marker de plus the verb. Let's look at the word order, then see some examples with complete sentences in both languages. The subject plus negation no plus de plus the verb. Once again, the construction or word order would be subject plus negation no 
plus the marker de plus the verb. Now let's see complete examples of the use of the negative form in both languages. I am not relaxing. I no de relax. You're not nice. You no de nice. He's not here. He no de here. She's not traveling today. She no de travel today. We are not working this afternoon. We know they walk this afternoon. You guys are not coming anymore. When I know they come again, they are not frank. They know they frank. Finally, we have come to the use of the question form in both languages. First, let's see the conjugation in both languages. Am I? I did. Are you? You did. Is he? He did. Is she? She did. Are we? We did. Are you? Una did. Are they then they? In Nigerian Pidgin English, the structure of the question and affirmative forms are always the same. Again, in Nigerian Pidgin English, the structure of the question and affirmative forms are always the same. The only thing that changes is the intonation when in the question form. Unlike English, where the verb to be flips to the beginning of the question and comes before the subject. So, the to form the question on your own in the question form in Nigerian Pidgin English, use this structure. Subject, plus de, plus verb, plus question mark. Remember yet again, the verb in the word order can be replaced with either an adjective, an adverb, or a noun, depending on the question and its meaning. Let's look at the following examples. Am I tall? I did tall. Are you okay? You day okay? Is he handsome? He day handsome? Is she rude? She day rude? Are we going out now? We day go out now? Are you serious? We not day serious? Are they unlikely to come? Then they're unlikely to come. Well, it's time to call it a day. We have come to the end of yet another lesson. In our next lesson, we'll be looking at the last marker in Nigerian Pidgin English, the marker na, as it compares with the verb to be in English. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next and subsequent videos as you tag along with me on this journey of learning Nigerian Pidgin English. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep it locked on BDMP, Breaking Down Nigerian Pidgin English. My name remains Bafo. Peace is in. Bye.